1969, two weeks before they walked on the moon, I was diagnosed with colon cancer. Since then, Keith Warner has fought cancer a total of four times, all because of a gene that runs in his family. Our family has a long history of cancer. Keith's daughter, Linda, has battled cancer twice. So 2011, I had colon cancer. And kidney cancer. They have what's called Lynch syndrome, marked by a gene that significantly increases their risk of getting colon and other types of cancer. I mean, I might get cancers, but they'll be caught early, and that's what counts. Both Keith and Linda are screened often to help find cancers early while they're still curable. And they both enrolled in the Colon Cancer Family Registry. This is the largest scale registry in the entire world for colorectal cancer. Mayo Clinic Dr. Pamela Sinecrope says data from this registry is used by many types of researchers worldwide. We need ways to better understand the disease so we know what causes it, how we can prevent it, and how we can do a better job of treating people with colorectal cancer. High-risk colon cancer patients and their families who enroll in the confidential registry give samples of blood, medical histories, and information about lifestyle choices such as smoking, exercise, and the type of foods they eat. Then they're followed over several years. Dr. Nora Lane Linder says keeping this registry funded is key to finding new ways to fight colon cancer. The value of having a registry that goes on over time, particularly a family-based registry, where all of the relatives have a little bit increased risk because there's already been a colon cancer in the family, is that this group is probably more likely to reveal to researchers what those lifestyle or genetic factors are that made that family more likely to develop colon cancer. Information that could help keep people like Linda and Keith, their families and many others healthy and cancer free. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.